Well, this is going to pretty much be take one. Hey everybody, this is going to be a real quick how to on how to replace a cabin air filter on pretty much a 2016 Nissan Altima SR. These things can be really difficult to replace in a sense to wear because it's in an awkward position. So I'm gonna show you guys where it is. Like when you, this is what a cabin air filter looks like. It looks like this. And the job of a cabin air filter is when you're going down the road and obviously air circles through the grill and it circles through the system, the vent system. So when pollutants and all type of air is circulating, this filter catches like debris. Like this is, my old one wasn't that bad, but I always stay on top of maintenance because obviously if you take care of your car, your car will take care of you. So this is the old one. Like I said, it's not extremely bad, but I'm more of a proactive person where I take care of things so that I ain't got to worry about it getting worse or getting bad. But as you see, you can see little like debris, like you see how it's debris and all this stuff is just pollutants from outside, even just dog hair and everything else. So the way you replace it in majority of these, these Nissan, not even just Nissan Altima, uh, I used to work at a dealership and a lot of these, are, uh, not Nissans, but a lot of these cars is pretty much right here on the passenger side. So this is a piece that you will have to clip off on these Altimas and you have to pretty much get upside down ouch crap ouch you gotta get upside down like this and you gotta get under here and look or or you can actually get it from just or you can actually get it from just kind of being on your knees wherever you at like this so i'm on my knees right now crouched over on the passenger side you see like it's some some cars is straight up up here but on this particular one it's right here to the left you see that hole? That's where it's at. That's where the cabin air filter for these Nissan SRs is. It can be confusing because usually when I was replacing them, it's like straight up, but it's on the side on these things. So now I gotta try to squeeze the, the new filter in. So when you get the new filter, you have to squeeze that bad boy back in. All right guys, I just replaced my um, PCV valve and it looks like this for the 2016 Nissan Auto. Matter of fact, if you go to the dealership, this is the part number if you're looking for the PCV valve. So it's 11810-1KC0A and it's valve assembly cunt Nissan from the dealership. And what a PCV valve does is a positive crankcase ventilation. And what it does is it controls the airflow to the intake of your engine because um, you have an intake system and I, a lot of, I don't know if you guys is car savvy, but um, it takes air as one of the ways of the strokes of the engine. It takes air to go into the cylinders to help, you know, get the firing going on to where you got power to your drivetrain, to your transmission from your crankcase. <laughs> I'm sorry, from your crankcase and your valve, you know, the valve pulleys and all that stuff. So this is what the PCV valve looks like. And you have to replace these every so many miles because what happens is it's a valve in there that opens and closes. And if that valve gets stuck open, too much air can get in there. If the valve gets stuck closed, then it's not enough air. And a lot of times it can cause rough idle. It can cause stalling. Sometimes it can cause your car to cut off totally, completely. So just like you do your oil changes and everything else, you want to do things as far as your filters, like your oil filter, your fuel filter, your cabin air, your cabin filter, air filters, you know, different filters of the system. Because without these filters being replaced, they get clogged up with tech contaminants and it doesn't no longer do the job that it was meant to do, which is filtrate contaminants out of the system. 
So, like I said, there's there's multiple strokes that an engine needs to perform. Like you got the power stroke, you got the intake stroke, which is what I'm dealing with. Then you got the, what is it? Power stroke, intake, fuel, and then combustion. So you have to have all those strokes going in sync pretty smoothly for you to have a smooth running car. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. All right. all right, so on here, like you have to take this, you gotta take this valve cover off right here. And it's like size 10 um, nuts that I got sitting right here. So these are 10 sockets. And once you take the cover off, your PCV valve is sitting right on top of the valve cover. And it's like a 22, but I used a 15 16 to get it off. So you're gonna need some pliers because you have to unloosen this, this clamp to get the holes off. And once you take the holes off, you put your socket on, you unloosen it, you know, take the bamboo. You got your PCV valve replaced. So now, all I gotta pretty much do is change my oil. Let me see, I gotta change my oil. Let me see, yep. Change my oil, replace my serpentine belt. And that should be good for maintenance on this damn car, shoot, yeah. So, time is the essence, everybody. Let's make better time of it. Let's love each other, not judge each other, because I never judge y'all. And I just get stuff done around here. Gotta get it done, so, deuces.